Welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to discuss binary search under divide and conquer technique. First of all, what is mean by binary search? Simply, they given a set of elements and a key. Now, your aim is you need to check whether the key is present in the given set of elements or not. For example, they are given the elements like this. Suppose, assume this is the list of elements and a key is given. Now, what is your aim? You need to check whether key is present in the list or not. What is the very, very important thing? The list of elements must be in sorted order. Remember the point? The list of elements must be in sorted order. What is the procedure? It's a very, very simple procedure. Remember, already the list of elements are in sorted order. First, I compared my key with the middle element. I compared my key with the middle element. If the key is equal to the middle element, yes, the key is available, close the operation. Suppose, if your key value is less than mid value. Observe, if you are searching key value is less than mid value, then you need to search only in this part. Why? Already the elements are in sorted order. If key is less than mid means compulsory, these are the set of elements that less than this value. That means only this half. Or if your key is greater than mid value, we are searching only this half. This is a divide and conquer approach. Dividing, dividing, dividing until we find the solution. Okay. Now based on this concept, I am implementing the binary search algorithm in two ways. One is non-recursive. Second one is recursive. Generally in divide and conquer, we are using recursive approach, but here I will explain the non-recursive algorithm also for understanding non-recursive binary search. So simply algorithm, the name of the algorithm. So whenever we are calling this function, what are the parameters you are passing? Assume A. A specify the number of elements in the list or array n. A specify the set of elements n specify the number of elements and you want to set for an element that is key. You got it? A is the set of elements, n is the number of elements, key is the, the element that we want to set. Okay. Start this algorithm. Assume these are the set of elements. What is the starting index? 0. What is the last index? We have n number. The last index is n minus 1. The array starts from 0 and ends at n minus 1. Here I am assuming two variables. One is low and another one is high. These two are the variables which are used to traverse among the list. So here initially I am assuming this 0 as low and this n minus 1 as high. That means that is the range of elements that we want to search. So what is my assumption? Low is equal to 0. High is equal to according to our n minus 1. Okay. My assumption is completed. So this is called low and this is called high. Here we need to traverse the elements. First we are mid value, either left side or right side, whatever it is. So the entire process is repeated until low less than or equal to high. While low value is less than or equal to high. If you don't know, no problem, ignore. I will explain. What is the first step? Just now we discussed. 
my key is compared with middle value my key is compared with mid value so your first step is calculate mid value how do you calculate mid value mid index is equal to low plus high by 2 here the symbol is floor floor symbol is suppose if you are getting an answer 2.5 there is no index of 2.5. So, floor of 2.5 is equal to 2. Okay. Now, what mid contains? Mid contains the middle position index. Now, perform your operation. If key is equal to equal to A of mid. If key is equal to equal to A of mid. That means my key value is equal to mid is index a of mid means the value what is answer whenever we are calling this function it return the mid that means your key is available at this index your key is available at this index okay now within this while loop else if else if key is equal to it is okay. Key is equal to completed less than A of mid. Key is less than A of mid. Then what is the procedure? You need to perform your search operation in this left part. So in this left part, that means low is fixed. What is high value? This becomes high. Right or wrong? Before mid minus, before mid that becomes high. So, simply I am updating high value that is like this. High is equal to mid minus 1. That means what is the logic? The range is changes from the left part. 0 to mid minus 1. Yes. What is the else case? Obviously the remaining case is key is greater than a of mid if the key is greater than a of mid this is my part so in this part now low is updated this is mid value this is mid value low is updated to mid plus one this is the algorithm so this process is repeated this process is repeated until low less than or equal to high. Whenever the low value equal to high, only single element is present. If it is equal, okay. If it is not equal, nothing is written. The element is not available. The element is not available. This is the non-recursive approach for implementing binary search. Clear? Now, I am going to discuss the recursive approach of binary search the concept is same whatever you are using the concept is same only the way we represent we calculate is different okay algorithm binary search of here a is the array in this i am passing low high key instead of directly the number of elements i am passing the starting index of the array ending index of the array here if you required you can write in comments this is the pseudo code here you write in comments how do you write the comment initially i assume low is equal to 0 high is equal to n minus 1 that is, whenever I am calling this function with 0, n minus 1. Now, come to the algorithm. So, recursion in the sense, a function calls itself repeatedly. But remember, each and every recursion function must and should contain an if case. That is the base condition. You have to stop at one position. So, first step is, I am calculating the same logic. Mid is equal to low plus high by 2. Mid value 
now check the condition if key is equal to equal to here i am writing if key is equal to equal to a of mid okay if is equal to equal to a of mid directly our key is equal to the middle element directly the answer is okay return mid that is fine suppose if the key is not equal to a of mid here we have different cases here you have different cases what is the different case if low is equal to equal to high that means if you have a single element and under in that single element if the key is equal to mid that is answer else return zero this if case this else case this if is closed you got my point if low equal to high that means we are dividing my list until a single element occur once a single element occur i am checking that element with this one if it is equal directly return the answer if it is not equal in the sense the element is not available return zero now this is if case now coming to else part this if case is completed coming to else part when we are moving to else part if low is not equal to high then we are moving into else part in this same we are checking the condition if key is less than a of mid that means we are searching the left part now call the function what we are doing return binary search of la a comma the left part that means low is fixed what is high value before mid mid minus 1 comma high comma key else return the right part what is the right part binary search of a the right part is from mid plus 1 to high mid plus 1 high comma key now understand the algorithm very simple logic first we are calculating the middle value so this is the base condition this is the recursive condition this one is the base condition this is the recursive condition suppose whenever you are calling this function again goes to this function definition here low value is zero high is updated to for example for this one high is updated to mid minus 1 based on this one again they are calculating the mid value perform the same operation the same thing is repeated until the list to contain single element once the list to contain single element then we are comparing with that element if it is equal return the corresponding index if those are not equal return zero for example zero in the sense that element is not available this is the non recursive and recursive approach for implementing the binary search thank you very much